Okay, in this tip we are going to show you how to create a VM or virtual machine using Oracle's VirtualBox. So right here we have installed VirtualBox already and we have the VirtualBox Manager open. And you could think of as a, a VM or a virtual machine as a computer running within a computer. So a virtual computer running within a physical computer and that virtual computer is using the physical computer's resources such as hard drive space, RAM, CPU, and that kind of stuff. So once we're in the VirtualBox Manager, we click on New to make a new VM. And there's two modes. There's the Guided Mode and the Expert Mode. We're going to stick with the Expert Mode. And what you want to do first is give the Virtual Machine a name. Call it Windows 7 because that's what we're going to be installing. And the type from the drop-down you could pick from all these options. You know, if you want to do Linux or OS X. But we're going to pick Microsoft Windows, obviously. And for the version, you have your big list here going way back to 3.1 and going up to Windows 10 and even Windows 2016. And you'll notice there's 32-bit and 64-bit. And on your computer, you might not have the 64-bit option. And if that's the case, it's either because you have a really old computer or you don't have the virtualization option turned on within your BIOS. Um, for Intel, it's the Intel VT and AMD is the AMD V. So you'd have to boot into your BIOS, go find that setting and enable it. Next down here, we have the memory size and this is how much RAM we're going to give it and it, this shows here how much physical RAM we have in this computer so obviously you don't want to go up too high because when that virtual machine is running it's going to be using 2 gigs of RAM out of 12 so if you give it 10 and you start it up the physical machine is only going to have 2 left and it's not going to work very well so we'll leave it at 2 and here's where you pick your hard disk either not adding one which you could do later or if you have an existing hard disk file and let's say you had a previous virtual machine and you disconnected that hard disk, you could attach it to your new one and start it up that way. But in our case, we don't have any, so we're going to create a virtual hard disk file now. And now it wants to know the file location and name, so we're going to click on Browse here. We're going to leave it in our Windows 7 folder, and we're going to leave the default name. You can change it to whatever you want. We'll click on Save. And this is how big the virtual disk is going to be. It's suggesting 25, so we'll go with that. And here you'll see some file types, virtual box types, or VHD or VMDK if you want to have some compatibility with uh, VMware or Hyper-V. And this is important here. So if we were to pick fixed size and 25 gigs, it would automatically create a 25 gig virtual hard disk file on our physical hard drive using up that space. And if you're making a lot of VMs or using big virtual hard drives, then that could be a problem. And if we do dynamically allocated, It'll still allow it to use 25 gigs, but it'll only allocate that space as it's needed. So let's say we're running Windows and it's using up 2 gigs of hard disk space. So on your physical computer, only 2 gigs is going to be used, not 25, but it'll let it expand up to 25 gigabytes for future usage. So we'll click Create here, and then you'll see that we have all of our settings right here, the options for our virtual machine and if you want to go into settings you could actually go change some of them you know if you if you made a mistake and you want to pick a different type of operating system you could do that um, go back and give it some more RAM and say we don't need a floppy disk or you want to change the boot order you could do that maybe you want a little more video RAM storage options networking add another network card and so on and so on so we'll click OK and so now just because we picked Windows 7 as our VM type doesn't mean it installed the operating system. It just did a configuration for Windows 7. So the easiest way to install the operating system is just to click on Start. And that will open up the VM's console window. And it's going to say, where's the startup disk? Because it's not finding an operating system to boot from. So you could either put your Windows DVD in the drive and point it to the drive letter. Or in our case, we're going to install from an ISO file that we downloaded from Microsoft. So we'll browse to it, and we're going to pick this file here, double click it, and then click on Start. And then that'll start the VM again, mount that ISO file, and start the Windows installation. And if you've installed Windows, I'm sure you've seen this a million times. So you could just go through the motions on that and install your operating system. And now that we have this VM done, you could add as many as you like, as long as you have the resources for it. Um, just keep in mind, RAM is going to be the biggest problem. So let's say you have five VMs with eight gigs of RAM on each one, and you try and start two of them, that's going to be 16 gigs of RAM it's going to want to use out of your 12 on the physical machine. So it's going to not like that. So size them accordingly and run them accordingly, and you should be okay. 
So that pretty much shows you how to create a VM. So you could go and download the VirtualBox for free on your own and give it a shot. All right, thanks for watching.